Hey guys, it's Oyuki. Welcome to my channel for today. I am finally feeling so much better getting over the flu. And, um, well, I've been pushing my um, new hair, new you uh, challenge winner because I've been so sick. But um, today we're going to be doing her hair and we are going from black, literally, to blonde in one day. So, welcome to this episode, black to blonde in one day. Can I do it? Challenge accepted. guys meet Jennifer she has dark very very dark hair and today we are going to turn her hair blonde in one day so stay tuned all right this is what we're working with she has plenty of hair not too bad I'm going to start with a fresh bowl today of ah! of bleach Elise is gonna be mixing it for me <laughs> she has one eyelash, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Just show them one eyelash. <laughs> How dare you? You should have told me. It's okay. <laughs> I wouldn't have started. Anyways, she's mixing a bowl of bleach with tin volume. Um, how many scoops did you use? Two. Two scoops of bleach. And then we're just kind of at that point. <laughs> I like my bleach to be not too runny. Remember, the runnier, the less uh, potent it is. So, yeah, the thicker, the, the better, the stronger, for sure. And I like mine thick, semi-thick. We're talking about bleach here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. We like it. All right, I'm going to start by... Um, parting the hair in what I like to call, well, no, it's kind of like a horseshoe parting. I part the middle as I do here, uh, like that. Do you see where their part is? Because I like to get both sides. So if she ends up wanting to um, part her hair to the side or either side or down the middle, she'll get to have the highlight uh, consistent coming down from there. Because if I were to start side parts like that and she ends up wanting to turn her hair to one side, then what happens is there'd be more blonde on one side than the other. All right, so this is what I was talking about as far as my parting went. There's five sections, and I like to kind of horseshoe this top area. I don't know, this is how I part each and every time. And I just feel like it gives me even spaces, like more of an even slate, because this hair ends up falling both ways, and it's like consistent on both sides. All right, so the biggest secret to turning someone blonde is always going to be your section. Baby light, baby light, baby light. If you wanna turn someone blonde in a day, you're gonna to have to baby light and you're gonna to have to start slow with some tin volume, okay? This is as little as my section starts and even then I'm gonna go a little smaller. I like to use this brush. This brush is the color brush and then it also has a weaving brush I was taught on this brush so this is how I do it I'm basically gonna grab the hair and I'm gonna go really close to the scalp and I'm gonna start my weaving right inside okay this has to be like so small so that it can penetrate the hair cuticle all around the bleach can also one of the number one things is to saturate the hair evenly. You want that hair to have saturation front and back. 
So I always love to say saturate, saturate, saturate. I don't like to cut my foils. I was trained on every single possible foil that I could think of and um, well, I went to Tracy Cunningham's class back in um, 2015. She's a um, Khloe Kardashian's hairstylist. She was the one that was like, no, she's like, this is what I use. I mean, she, um, she has obviously someone helping her unpack it, the foil, whatever, but she was like, this is what I use and you know, and it just made sense because as you get, you know, near bigger, longer sections, you can grab a little more hair. I'm leaving no hair out at all. I'm doing tiny baby lights. See how close that gets me to the scalp? I'm probably going to regret not wearing a smock later. The trick to going blonde in one day is to make super tiny baby light pieces overly saturate with bleach and to leave no hair out. The smaller your section, the more lift you'll get. Now see how small my sections are? I wanted to show y'all how tiny my little pieces are for my baby light. Right there. about halfway done so I'm going to start mixing 20 volume um, because I want the top to catch up to the bottom but it's still not gonna be a formula that's too harsh on the hair so this is still processing right now I checked the bottom and we're already in the blonde family so yes. Yay. we're doing the damn thing I'm telling you you can go blonde in one day but it's totally possible if you go to the right stylist that's gonna take care of your hair, gonna take the time, and gonna invest in the right product. All right, I'm gonna balayage the ends. I'm just teasing. I'm grabbing them as they're falling. And applying color. how it's kind of already sectioned in a really good way and I'm just pushing up tightly holding here and then kind of just hand painting heavily saturating Still at 20 volume. Last piece. <laughs> okay, 
starting in the front now. Giving the back a break. <laughs> I could feel my mind get really. So in the front, I am going to do back-to-back -back foils because I want her to have a heavy metal piece. Starting with super small slices. She has a really short baby hair right here in the front, so I'm gonna go in a little deeper so that her money piece actually looks like it's there because if not, you can't have a money piece if your hair is baby baby hair short. <laughs> will, you, will you make me some more? Please. We are on the bowl number six and we are about 25 scoops in. We are about three and a half hours in. Eight bowls, about 32 scoops of bleach. Will you give me a little bit more, Elise? We're on bowl number nine, which means 36 scoops of bleach and 20 volume, guys. Look at that. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this. I have to turn her so slowly so that you can see what is going on. It's mountains and mountains of foil. Like, no lie. <laughs> Finishing up, keeping her sides really tight with foil. Still baby lighting. Still not changing. All right, I'm gonna oh, get under the, last one, okay. the tongue. Yes. Bitches. Look at that. Guys, that's crazy. will you zoom it? Right there. Guys, look at this. She's wow. bitches. Wow. I'm going to take some of these out already. Look at that. I told you. You can be blonde in one day. To the wall. To the side. No, you're good. We just took that little piece out. We're going to be taking it out in sections because it's not all ready. So stay tuned. All right. Next up. Just taking off all this. And I want to show y'all the integrity of this hair is literally standing. So Jennifer was already asking me for a appointment oh shit and what's crazy is that i started this giveaway and it was last minute but i did a new hair new you and i only targeted to my dark haired girls because i you know i obviously needed someone um with the dark hairs going on <laughs> jennifer actually won am i crazy okay i think we're i think good. yeah i think we're good we're gonna let you cook a little more <laughs> Does that feel a little better? Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel under there? <laughs> She's like, I can't even see. Your eyelashes are probably driving you nuts. You guys, look at this. Look at how blonde she got. Look at that. What color would you say that is? Blonde? Yeah. <laughs> her hair. Okay. Her hair was this dark. Dude. This is freaking crazy. That's Nothing but baby lights. Number one. This was all achieved with 20 volume. And 10 volume. Alright guys, so the next step, I'm going to apply a root shadow. And I always like to have her sit up. Woo, woo, woo. Wow. Alright, I always like to part it 
down here down the middle and then the way I apply my shadow root which by the way the formula for this is a 4n and 6t in shades of EQ equal parts um, I like to use my paint brush and I always like to keep this here but I always like to start I like to go this way. A long time. It's okay. This way. And then as I'm parting, I like to go in long sections, not going in in um, vertical. Going no, like horizontal this. this way, horizontal this way. So like she don't like going this way. She likes going more up and down. So diet. I, I'm forgetting my math. I'm all. I feel like that kind of keeps you from getting any kind of lines. If that makes sense. And I'm doing about, what, two and a half two. to three inches. Okay. All right, right now I'm going to be toning her mid shaft, which is the middle part of this hair. She's about a level nine for all you hairstylists that understand my terminology. This is to tone down any kind of unwanted like colors like your brassiness, your, um. I mean, really hair doesn't typically lift to this really pretty white, you know? So unless, I mean, you do it safely but when you do, I mean, you're left with underlying pigment. You're left with dark yellow, like a light yellow. Even this yellow here has still got a little bit of a of a yellow hue to it. So you have to tone that down. Elise is applying a level 10 on the ends. is doing the blend right in there I always tell her to blend her root to her end so that there it just helps with the lines Ooh, look at how pretty that looks I'm excited all right I just wanted to show y'all this is literally all that came off of her head it's like nothing you can't really see it but Yay, it's so healthy. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So, challenge was accepted. We made her blonde in one day. One. Oh my gosh. Go ahead and turn, mama. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Guys, <laughs> I love my job. Look at that blend. Look at this girl. <laughs> Woo. How do you feel about being blonde Great. in one day? <laughs> yes, we did it. Cute. Elise, we did it. Yes, girl. Couldn't have done it without you. You guys, you. we did it. We turned her blonde in one day. Her hair was close to black. I did it. Woohoo. Okay, so for her mid shaft, guys, we used 98. AA. Um, that's the middle part that looked a dark yellow. It has a more of a blue but purple base. And, the, and, and I used the brand Oligo and then I used on the ends 10 AI which is more of a violet base. And then I used 10 GB which has more of a, a gold violet base. So it came out so pretty. It's really hard for you to see true color here. But I'll post the formula for all of the colors in the description box so that you guys can um, use that formula. So this concludes this episode of going from dark to light in one day. And this video had a purpose. This video kind of actually, I wanted it to be a challenge for all of my hairdressers. If you uh, have any trouble 
or anything you guys I'm gonna put my Instagram here feel free to DM me for any of your questions or problems that you may have but I just wanted to let you know if you're a hairstylist and you want to offer this as a uh, service um, going blonde in one day is very hard and so make sure you're adding value to that make sure that you're not selling yourself short for all the hard work that you're doing and also I wanted it to to be a challenge like I want you to at me um, for or wherever you're posting your stuff if you're starting to do this start mentioning my name so that I can see your work and um, I want to thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see all your work. I'm wishing you the best in this new year. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye. Bye. How long did that take? Like, well, we started 11:30. It's what time? So five and a half. Eight? About five and a half hours. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we still don't eat. We need to go eat. Let's go eat.